just been the most incredible inspiration to me, staying here with me and visiting with me here in the studio while we plan our wonderful surprise trip to see Count Pedestrian. And I'm going to ship some of my art in advance to Europe. We're going to put on a big show over there. Yes, 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 you were my inspiration, Dad, in recent events. You see, my dear, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I suppose you've noticed all this work I've been doing the past few days while you've been here, between the wine and the music and the song and our wonderful, wonderful conversations, I've been able to belt out a few pieces based on the Murgatroyd serial killer's work. Yes, 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 yes. My next show is going to be based on the Murgatroyd serial killer. Yes. I've thought about, like, doing this collage of the faces and bodies of his victims and stuff, but I thought that would be considered in bad taste. I mean, the families of the victims might object or something. You know how sensitive and finicky people can be. But the art world might very well like you. Who knows? At any rate, I've just simply taken images of the uh, Murgatroyd serial killer, you know, and done different artistic things with them that were just, oh, God, I was inspired. This is going to be a smash hit. Huh. I just can't wait until we get to Europe and I have held my pieces over there. Jeez. This may be the best show I've ever put on yet. Yes, yes. Watson. Does the Murgatroyd Serial Killer? The Murgatroyd Serial Killer by Blatson. Ah, yes. We'll get in international headlines. I'll be more famous than Andy Warhol at his height. Oh, it's just wonderful, Sharon. It's just wonderful. <laughs> Dear son Eric, Count Pedestrian informed me that in a few days we will be having guests arriving here at the castle. He told me Blatz and the artist is flying over with a girlfriend. I want you to be on your best behavior, my son, after all we are guests here you know. And this castle is big enough for all of us. Keep in mind that Blatson used to live with Count Pedestrian for quite some time at his mansion back in Murgatroyd, so perhaps the two of them are seeking a reconciliation of some kind. I am only asking that you be polite to Blatson and whoever the young lady may be who is accompanying him during their stay here at the castle. Thank you Eric. Also in international news today, the artist Blatson of the city of Murgatroyd in the United States has announced that he is about to launch a European art exhibit that will move from one major European city to another, first the exhibit will appear in Paris, France for a few weeks, then Rome, Italy and then on to another great city to be determined at a later time. The exhibit by Blatson is entitled The Murgatroyd Serial Killer and is based upon exactly what the title implies. Whereas some art critics are already disclaiming the exhibit as sensationalistic exploitation, it remains to be seen what the overall response of the art world will be. In other news today, Vince A. Stock has begun climbing once again as sales of the new Cologne Sladet 3 continues to soar both in the U.S. as well as abroad. <laughs> well, thank God for satellite television and satellite radio. That sniveling little arrogant, insolent snob with his nose in the air. So-called art it off my work, <laughs> coming to Europe on tour with his little art exhibit entitled The Murgatroyd Serial Killer. So he's going to become even more famous and rich off of my work. I got news for him. 
little, mm. he'd have been easy to do sex while I was still there in Murgatroyd. I do have my own inspiration. <laughs> He's been inspired. Don't let him become one of my works of art then. Where to do it, where to do it, where to do it. I did admire Thomas Harris's work, and of course the wonderful, wonderful film adaptation that uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins did. Hmm. And that was in Italy, of course. Yes. Huh. When he took care of that inspector. Where, where, where? I really don't want to be a guest here at Count Pedestrian's castle. It would be important to bloody one of these rooms up. Hmm. European landmark. That will be the site of Blatson's demise. Yes, indeed. It'll make international headlines. Of course, they won't know it's me, not immediately, of course, unless I decide to somehow inform them later on. Hmm. At any rate, tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Time is running out for you, Blatson. <laughs> hanging you in the lube as a work of art, but I so greatly got and the work of Sir Anthony Hopkins, uh, the way that uh, inspector died, actually, so that I've decided to simply flash you up and then hang you from the Eiffel Tower. Yes, I'm afraid you're going to be a work of art. You're going to be hanging here from the Eiffel Tower. And goodbye, Blatson. <laughs> The mutilated body of the American artist Blatson was found today hanging from the top floor of the Eiffel Tower. The following is a memorial tribute to the slain artist Blatson of Murgatroyd. It consists of footage originally aired by station CRZY during the past several years. The contents of this footage in one way reflects the positions or feelings of the owners and management of CRZ, 
it is simply a memorial tribute to the artist Blatson of Murgatroyd from our archives of CRZY aired footage. that wicked slut who Jean Flakowski had so viciously attacked my precious little works of art. I wouldn't be sitting here exposing myself to you like I am now. Oh well, life plays some funny tricks sometimes. I turned a few funny tricks myself, oh yes I have. It's your favorite resident artist, Blatson the Artist here, to tell you about my latest art exhibit. Yes. Flashy the Paper Doll is the subject of my show. She's so minimalist. She's so bare bones. She, she's the ultimate. And I'll just let you good people of Murgatroyd figure out what that bodily fluid's going to be. Yes. The next one is going to be called Images of Imogene. And I'm sure she'll love that art exhibit. Oh, yes, she will. And that idiot, Imogene Flakowski, who keeps trashing my art. Boy, have I got my revenge planned up for her. I'm sure you're familiar with another artist named Andre Serrano. Well, I'm going to find an old yearbook from back. Yes, I'm here pushing together my new art exhibit, and it's called Images of Imogene. I should have eating a lot more vitamins before I produce the liquid that your yearbook picture is immersed in for your vile, disgusting, inane criticisms of my artwork. I've been fending for myself ever since Count Pedestrian kicked me out of his mansion. He went back to Europe because of Lieutenant Skitter's vile accusations. And now the artist Blatson has made me the subject of his latest art exhibit. I feel so very, very honored. Well, oh. this is my very first time to visit an art exhibit, much less one that is based on me. Thank you, skateboarders. Thank you, Blatson. Yes, 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 yes. My next show is going to be based on the Murgatroyd serial killer. I've just simply yes. taken images of the uh, Murgatroyd serial killer, you know, and done different artistic things with them that were just, oh, God, I was inspired. This is going to be a smash hit. Huh. I just can't wait until we get to Europe and I have held my pieces over there. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers on TV, members of the studio audience here, I want to welcome you to a, a more somber type episode of the Les Tomac Show. Uh, today, of course, in, in the wake of the sudden tragic mutilation slaying death of Blatson, the, art, and the artist from Murgatroyd, we're having a, a tribute show uh, to Blatson in which we're going to have people who knew and were personally acquainted with Blatson uh, come on the show and talk about the artist Blatson, of course, reminisce about Blatson. But first of all, we've got the man emaciated butterfly back. The man emaciated butterfly back. And although the band member Floyd, who left them many years ago, refused to appear, and of course Blatson, who was a member of emaciated butterfly, uh, can no longer, obviously, uh, appear with Emaciated Butterfly. The remaining members of the Emaciated Butterfly Band of the Emaciated Butterfly Band are here to to sing One from the Vaults, a tribute song that was done after JFK was slain and it was called Oh No Jackie O. 
But in keeping with the somber, mournful tenor of the times with the tragic slaying of Blatson, I now present to you, ladies and gentlemen, the emaciated butterfly with Oh No, Jackie O. Oh no, no. Jackie, oh, no, 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 the motor came to for downtown, how I say we're headed for home. Oh, no, 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 Jackie, oh, oh, no, no, Jackie, oh, oh, no, Jackie, oh, oh, no, 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 Jackie, oh, oh, oh. And at Ely Plaza, three rifle shots rang out. The last one was a headshot. Jackie scrambled to get out. Secret service pushed her back into the car at that point, point. And they sped onward to Parkland. It wasn't very far. Do, 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 no. Jackie, oh. Oh, no, no. Jackie, oh, no. Jackie, oh. No, 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 Jackie, oh. Welcome back to this very somber, very special memorial tribute, Les Tomac show to Blatson, the slain artist, Murgatroyd, known artist Blatson, who was killed. It has been discovered, and Lieutenant Skitters and the French police recently revealed that the identity of the killer of Blatson in Paris, France, is none other than the Murgatroyd serial killer, shocking as that may be. And as all of you know, and it was covered extensively here, not only just by me, Les Tomag, but one of my colleagues at CRZY, Humility, can cover the story, and even my own wife, Emma Jean, who was taunted by the uh, Murgatroyd serial killer. We've covered extensively over the past year, see, there are more than 22 victims. and He was believed to have been slain at, at my own wedding. He was shot by a sniper, and Lieutenant Skitters identified uh, Eric Niedermeyer there, uh, as dead, but apparently somehow uh, he either survived or was brought back to life, or we we don't know the answer to that. But in fact, uh, Blatson was killed by the Murgatroyd serial killer in Paris, France. But anyway, today's show is is, is going to be concentrating on the artist Blatson in its memorial tribute, and we're having guests on who uh, knew him personally. And as you may recall, the art critic Liz Shaw. Uh, knew and was acquainted with Blatson and has been on our show before. Uh, later on, I may show a, a clip from his previous appearance. But anyway, Le Chance is here today, so we want to welcome Le Chance, the young prodigy art critic from France. Later on, we will be having uh, the uh, lead singer, Wiggle Wrongly, of Emaciated Butterfly, who, uh, as you know, was very close to Blatson for many years while Blatson was with the Emaciated uh, Butterfly Band. The first, Le Chance. C'est une tragédie, une triste tragédie. C'est dommage, c'est trop mal. Les montres du blason. Triste tragédie de le monde de l'art. De l'art. What can one say? It's tragic, it's sad. It's uh, all of France is, is reeling with this shocking death, as I'm sure everyone in Margaretoy here, last I know you personally, were touched by Blatson's death as well. It's, it's just tragic all the way around. 